Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. Today's video is part two of combing out the dreadlocks. Update on the past dread that I combed out. If you guys missed the video of me combing out the five head Congo, link to that is in the description. I'm also gonna put an iCard so you guys can click on that and go watch that before you watch this one. And combing this out was so refreshing. I kind of expressed my feelings towards combing out dreadlocks in that video more. So then I'm probably gonna explain in this video since I already went through that like first Congo. I could tell you one thing is that it can get kind of emotional because I've had my hair for almost four years. But at the same time, it's so relieving because having your hair in a certain hairstyle for four years and then finally combing it out or basically doing a new hairstyle is so refreshing. So it's really just a refreshing feeling, a new feeling for me. But I wanna show you guys some new things that I actually got picked up at Fry's today. I picked up a dog comb. And this is just for like a dog that's hair is shedding. These are what you use on dogs. The reason you get these because they're metal and they're tougher than just like a normal comb you'd get for human hair. And it also has coarse teeth and more of a loose teeth right here. Also picked up some Tresemme conditioner. And this is just to help out the whole process of combing it out. It makes your hair detangle a whole lot better. So I'm gonna be using this with, of course, water but first and foremost i'm gonna be showering i'm gonna wash my hair i haven't washed my hair in a while just because i've been neglecting my hair for so long but i'm going to wash my hair and then i'm going to sh obviously shampoo it and then i'm gonna do like a deep condition it'll just loosen everything up beforehand but i want to show you guys i still do have the ball of hair of combing out the congo so like i said if you haven't seen a video make sure to click the ad card or click the link in the description and go watch the video because it's really interesting how much hair actually came out of one dreadlock which essentially was five dreadlocks. But you guys, before I start the combing out process today, give this video a thumbs up. Kenneth is actually working on her hair right now. She's doing box braids, it's just really cool. And watching Friends. I'll show you her box braids. Don't stop yelling in our apartment, you are ruining moving day for us. But you guys, I am gonna shower, loosen up everything, like I said. Conditioning my dreadlocks will help out the whole process. So here's the comb I was using last time, and this is actually a lice comb. So this is if like people get lice and this is the comb they use typically. But um, I used it and I feel like this comb is actually going to benefit me a little better just because the teeth are a little wider. You can see the difference in the width of teeth that the lice comb actually has a lot more teeth than the dog comb and I think it'll just make it easier for the hair to actually comb through. And I'm, I'm so glad that you guys are so supportive. I love the great fam. You guys are really, really, really awesome. You guys support me every single step of the way. I was so skeptical of combing out my dreadlocks just because I've had my channel of basically dreadlocks the whole time and kind of making a shift now of like starting to comb them out. It's gonna take a process for sure. I don't wanna comb them all out in one setting. I'm glad you guys are so supportive. You guys are awesome, love you guys to death. And like, yeah, I've just been neglecting my hair for so long, like look at all this frizzy hair and just neglecting my hair and not really doing much to it, but I wanna get a hairstyle that I can like be productive with and learn more about like, you know, maybe like braids or just like curly hairstyles because my hair is naturally curly. So there's a lot I can do outside of the dreadlocks. Just finished up in the shower and I put conditioner in the forehead Congo and I left it in. I didn't like wash it out. So I conditioned my whole head, but then I washed out the conditioner. But as you can tell, this one is still like you can see that there's conditioner in it still. And I did that on purpose because I'm planning on combing out this forehead Congo tonight. So I want to finish that. Oh yeah, by the way, Candace's braids are done. Cool, sister. All right, I'm putting you guys on a tripod and my hair is still really damp So I'm actually gonna take my glasses off because there's nothing more annoying than getting your glasses dirty or wet Like I did in the other video I'm gonna pull up the rest of my hair with the hair tie and just leave the forehead Congo hanging down I'm actually gonna go grab my spray bottle real quick and then also I'm gonna have the conditioner on the side just in case like conditioner comes out or it dries out or whatever. I'm gonna be able to apply more conditioner as I comb out. All right, so like I said, I'm using this Tresemme uh, moisturizing conditioner. And then I got the spray bottle and then it has like some detangler in there, hair moisturizer in there as well. Before I got in the shower, I forgot to tell you that I actually combed out one of the Congos in the forehead Congo. I actually combed this one out dry and it actually went through really smooth. It combed out quicker than I thought it would just because the hair was dry. I was very careful not to really like mess up the hair because it was dry. So it's 116 right now. We're gonna see how quick I get through this section right here. And this is after the hair being soaked and moisturized. And if you guys missed the first video, if you haven't went back and watched it, all I'm doing is doing little by little every single knot 
And I forgot to mention as well is that this comb actually works a little better than the other one because these prongs are not as fine as the lice comb. So it makes it a whole lot easier. I've also been using the wider side just for certain points because it just helps like for you to go a little faster. Alright, yeah, one thing I want to mention is that I'm combing through my hair and like as I'm feeling it going through like um also I'm like about halfway through this dread and it is 122 so that is six minutes that passed by halfway through the dread and I'm noticing as I'm going through as I'm feeling the actual dreadlock you can see different textures in here you can see actually where I've done crochet hooking and I can feel where I did interlocking. Right here is where I've done interlocking. And that's the toughest parts because I can feel the different textures in which are the methods that I chose while getting dreadlocked. So it's really interesting, like reversing the whole process. I'm still feeling the process that I did to get them. Candace is over here burning her hair. You wanna show them how you burn your hair? Sure. Just stand there. It's not her real hair, guys. I've done it to my dreadlocks once. And then my dreadlocks started burning because my hair is real. <laughs> That's how you burn your hair. Now let's see if I can finish this in the next few minutes. I'm actually gonna pull this stuff aside with a hair tie. All right, so I'm gonna add some more of this conditioner in there just to see if it makes it a whole lot easier, just a little bit. But I'm serious, I've seen people that come with their dreadlocks and literally they're using like a whole bunch of conditioner and so don't hate appreciate all right let's see if it works I'm almost through this one. One thing that I'm finding very easy is I'm using the wider teeth comb and I'm going in like literally just putting the top in like that and then running it all the way down. So like it makes sense. Just pushing it in like that and then running it down. And then combing out the rest with this smaller tooth comb. All right, y'all, that is the second one. I'm going to take out these two and then I'll get back to you guys soon. All right, y'all, it is the next day. No, Kenneth is concerned if you can see her or not. But I stayed up till I 
I think like two, I don't remember what time it was, but it was probably two or three. And finished combing out that dreadlock. And now I have two dreadlocks that are uncombed. Or combed out. I don't know what I said uncombed for. Let's find it. Here we go. Boom. So I combed this one out, braided it. I braided my own hair. You guys rate my braiding skills right now. My braids are on point, y'all. Uh oh. And here is the one from last time. See my braid? Is it good? Yeah. Man, it is early morning. But I do have my hair just up in a bun. And I'm still. I do plan on combing out more dreads today, but that's gonna be in a further episode of me combing out my dreadlocks. And I'm also gonna see how it goes if I have Candace helping me, if it's gonna be like harder on me, cause like she might not know the attention that's going on my scalp or anything like that. But I wanna see how it feels with having her comb out some dreads. So that's gonna be coming soon. But at the same time, it's cool having two of my dreadlocks already combed out. So that is the forehead Congo and the five head Congo are both finally combed out. And the experience that I have from it is that everything is just lighter on my scalp. Now those sections of hair that the dreadlocks were in, it is a little lighter, but that's not really what makes the difference. It's that tension that I had on the scalp, of uh, just having them twisted up. There was a lot of just singled out hair that was just tugging on my scalp, especially from the five head Congos, because it's five dreads into a Congo and the four head Congo as well. It's just there's more tension on the scalp versus having a single dreadlock there. So the plan right now is just to comb out all the Congos just to make it lighter on my scalp and to make my scalp a little healthier. But all those will be done in further episodes. I want to start combing out more in one video. So that's definitely going to happen in the next video. So be sure and stay tuned for all of that, guys. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. I'm excited. I, I think it's a really cool experience. It's something new that I haven't done. And... I mean, I've never done it before, but it's been three years of having dreadlocks. Just getting the feel of how my hair looks outside of dreadlocks in that long amount of time, it's it's an awesome feeling. But you guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless.